What's up? Everyone, also, okay, quick question, or quick remark. Lots of y'all have been asking about that F above my door. It's not a decoration. It just came the room because there's six rooms in my apartment. So it just labels them A through F, and I'm the F bedroom, so F. Today, I'm actually really excited about this. Um, I wanted to share with y'all 10 things that I feel like I can't live without. So pretty much, like, obviously, yes, I could probably live without one of these, but it's like the 10 things that I use the most and like I swear by. Like these are like my 10 favorite products all around. I didn't just do skincare, I didn't do anything. I like really tried to pick like the 10 things that I love the most and this was so hard for me. Like I have so many things that I feel like are so useful. So I'm super excited to show y'all and I don't know what I want to start with first. All right, this. <laughs> This is my Stanley cup. So I don't know if it's just a college kid thing. I, it isn't because I know tons of people who have these. Ever since like high school, I've had like one water bottle that I bring with me everywhere. And when I say everywhere, I literally mean everywhere. I left it on a photo shoot like a couple weeks ago. It was way sad. <laughs> I was way sad about it. Um, but my mom got me this for Christmas. So the Stanley cup, it's not like a hydro flask or like dense, like actually is really heavy duty. Um, and I have like knocked it over a few times and it has no effect on it whatsoever. Also, I feel like it stays cold for a very long time. So I swear by this cup and I bring it with me everywhere. <laughs> like I'm not kidding. Also, this is just a little tip that I do. Tip, hack, I don't know. But rubber bands, when I first buy them, are too tight. If I put them on my wrist, they're too tight. See, this one hasn't been stretched. You know, it like leaves the marks. So I always put them on my water bottle, like a bigger one, and leave them there for like a week or two and they totally stretch out. And then they don't like hurt your wrist anymore. So there is a tip from me, but first one, my Stanley cup. Could not live without it. All right, next up, you already know I'm gonna say this one, but I guess it just shows that I'm a true believer in the product, right? Lash next door. This is the Twins Mascara. Um, they spent forever curating the formula for it, and I like helped test it, so I feel like I, I didn't, like make it, like I can't put my name on it, but I feel like I was part of the process when we did make it. Honestly, like it's a really good mascara and it changes your life if you use it. My next one. These are my favorite pens and they're my mom's favorite pens too. We buy them for Christmas every single year. That's what I get her for Christmas every year just cause it's such a classic, like classic gift and we always use them. Um, but this is Zebra. So this is the, the best one is like Cesara. I hope I'm saying that right. Cesara Zebra, and it's like 0.5 or 0.05, you know, like the millimeter. Pretty sure it's 0 0.05, I think so. Um, but they're the best pens. They write the best. I've tested a ton of pens, and I promise you these are the best. This is like the eco-friendly one, so it's made from like recycled materials. You can get this one, or you can get the other one. Um, they're pretty much the same. I've tested them both. This is just what I happen to have. So if you're looking for new pens, I recommend this one. Okay, next. I have my favorite facial um, cleanser. And I don't know, like I feel like I talked about this a couple times. My skin is like super sensitive. And for a while, like I was allergic to different things or just really having huge sensitivities to things. And it took me a long time to find a face cleanser that worked. Um, I was using like a bunch of different brands, like Clean and Clear and like everything and even clean brands still wasn't, like I was still like literally was having like chemical burns on my face. It was so bad. Um, but I found this cleanser and I've never gone back. It truly like is my favorite cleanser. I will never switch, probably ever. I don't even really want to try anything else because this just has always worked. Um, and this is what Bailey uses too. And I think Brooklyn and Ryland now all use this one. So we love this. The brand is Naturally Serious. And it lasts a long time, like pretty long time for face cleanser. I wish my bottle was cleaner than it is. But I swear by this face cleanser, um, it is my favorite by far. And I even tested a lot of face cleansers. So if you have sensitive skin, I highly recommend this. Even if you don't, Brooklyn doesn't really, and she really likes this one. So if you're trying to find one, go with this. It works wonders for my face. Okay, next one. I promise y'all, I use this multiple times a day. This is my fanny pack bag. I use it as a crossbody though. I wear it like this, featuring my inhaler. <laughs> so I don't use like a purse. I don't use a backpack. I don't use anything. I bring this, this with me 
everywhere. It doesn't matter if I'm traveling, it doesn't matter if I'm going to go get food, it doesn't matter if I'm going to school. Like literally, I bring this no matter what. And I actually had a different one. Um, it was Herschel brand, which is like just a backpack brand. I used it to the point where it was falling apart. And I got this maybe in July, <laughs> by December, it was totally gone. So Bailey got me this new one for Christmas. Um, it's Vera Bradley. Truthfully, this is my, like probably my favorite item. I don't know why I love it so much. It's just like the perfect size. Um, and it just like works with any outfit, just casual throw it on, you know, perfect, perfect for everything I need. Um, it's not clunky like a backpack or a purse and it just kind of stays there. I don't know, I just love it and I seriously bring it with me everywhere that I go. Item six, couldn't go without my guitar. It's my baby. So this one actually, um, I had another guitar. I do have another guitar, it's just at home. And I use Taylor brand. Um, and I was looking for a smaller one that I could travel with me when I went on tour with the twins. I think that was the fall 2017, maybe. And um, I was asking like on Twitter <laughs> whether I should get a Baby Taylor or it was another one, I think it was Ed Sheeran's brand, I wanna say. And Taylor Guitars actually reached out and told me that they'd send me this one, which is the GS Mini. And it is my favorite guitar. Um, it's mahogany and I actually need to get strings replaced. I haven't done that yet, but I love it. It's like the perfect size for like, I don't know what the word is, but for like, for me, like guitars like sometimes feel clunky. Um, and I think like they're built for men sometimes because it's just bigger and like the frets are bigger and you need bigger hands. But I feel like this one, because it's smaller, like it's more fit for like somebody who has smaller hands. So it just fits perfectly. And I love my guitar. I'll show you. Maybe I'll play a little something. Next up, so this might be TMI, but my nice item that I definitely couldn't live without, I guess I'll go for it. Sorry if this is TMI for you, um, but I don't really wanna show you. It's in the bag, but it's actually a menstrual cup. So I've tried a bunch of different ones and this by far is the best one that I've tried. Per obviously it's a personal thing, um, but I think it's the most user friendly. So it's easier for like younger kids to use, um, but it truthfully is a life changer. Um, but for me personally, this is something I would take with me if I could only bring a couple things to an island, that would be one of them. It's cheaper in the long run. It's probably so like safer, cleaner, it's just easier to use. This is what it looks like. Okay, number eight. We're back to beauty products, but couldn't go with um, a video of my essentials without, of course, naming my shampoo and conditioner. This is Heritage, this is my mom's brand, and I wish I looked less biased when I'm saying that these really are good products, but they really are good products, and for the quality, for the price, it's amazing, the quality that you get. And again, I just have really sensitive skin, really sensitive to like all the chemicals and stuff, and obviously these are just way clean. There's a list of everything. I always love books on my face that it doesn't have, I mean, so it's paraben-free, gluten-free, mineral oil-free, color-safe, cruelty-free, vegan, palfate-free, like all of them. Like it's clean, um, smells good, and it's just done wonders for my hair heritage, for sure. And they also are coming out with a bunch of new stuff, actually, I think this week, and I'm super excited to buy it all. Check it out, it's in Walmart, got good stuff, promise you, one of those things, you'll like try it, you'll never go back. All right, so this one, obviously a little bit more expensive. I debated on whether or not I should put it because it's not like something most people are just gonna like buy for fun, um, but it is one of the products that has changed my life, and that is my iPad. So when I bought it, you know when like you have an idea, something you're like, oh, I really wanna buy it. Like I feel like every person has one thing where they really wanted it for Christmas or like for their birthday or like they just wanted to buy it and then they never actually ended up using it. I thought that's what this might be for me. Like I was I was really worried when I first got it. I was like, oh no, like now I have to use it for everything to like justify the purchase. And I started using it for like drawing and stuff like that and I loved it, but I didn't really use it for school until my senior year of high school. Um, and it truthfully, like I cannot express to you, it changes, it's a game changer if you're a student. It really is. This is something I will urge everybody to get because it is so good for school. I mean, it's amazing. I don't, I don't need a calculator. I don't need any of that stuff because it's all here. I actually posted a story of my notes the other day. I have like probably 200 DMs asking me how I take them. Um, so maybe I'll show that in a later video, but just like look, these are all my notes. Everything is customizable. You can do planners. This is just one of the apps, by the way. There's just so much you can do with it. I just have a crazy ridiculous amount of notes. And you like can see the covers of your notebooks. Then I have like Chem 107 and molecular biology 
and I like my Chem 105 from last semester. This one of my like recitation seat sheets. Can you see it? I just fill them out like right here. Um, and then I can directly save it as a PDF and upload it to the website that my school uses. So everything, like my entire school career is on this. I use it more than I use my laptop. Like just the amount of things this thing has is ridiculous. This is one of my favorite things is like when I'm calculating things for chemistry, I can swipe here, there's my calculator, swipe back, right there, perfect. Um, you can split screen, you can do picture in picture, which is a new update Apple just released to all devices, but it was specifically for the iPad at first. I will bring this with me everywhere. One of my top 10 products for sure. And last but not least, you didn't really think I was going to go without saying something about my camera, which actually is what I'm recording on. So I'll get a little BTB clip on my phone, I guess. This is my camera. This is one of mine. Uh, this is one that I probably use the most. So if I'm gonna use it for photography, or like, there's my lotion. Um, if I'm using it for photography, I usually use one of those up there, um, but I have used this one before for like trips where I don't want a more expensive camera. But this is the one I use for filming all the time, like multiple times a week. So this is my Canon M200. It's the best camera for beginners. Um, it has a whole like creator kit, so it comes with a tripod, it comes with like a little remote control, it comes with everything, and just the quality for the size is amazing. So this is one of the cameras I recommend. I have people asking me all the time, like, what's the best camera for beginners? This is probably the one I would recommend to them, just because it's like for price, you get a good, good quality camera for the price. So this will be my product, tenth product that I could not live without. Can't live without my camera. I have a camera with me everywhere I go. I keep one. I keep like a little film camera in my car. And if I'm going somewhere major, of course I bring one of my bigger cameras, but that's my 10th product. Also, I just have to put in an 11th one because, <laughs> because I got a Costco membership just for this. Kodiak Pancake Mix. I love this stuff. But this mixed with a um, pancake maker from Target, it's like $10. They have them in a bunch of different colors. We use this thing multiple times a day. Everybody, like everybody, all of us use it. It is crazy how much use we've gotten out of this $10 little pancake maker. Um, but you can make things called chaffles and you can make it with like eggs or it put chaffles pretty much anything that you put in this thing and it makes a meal. So you can make like sandwiches or paninis or whatever you want. Really anything you can stick in that and it'll make something. But that is definitely a product I can't go without mentioning even though that makes it 11, sorry. Um, can it just decide on 10? All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, I could probably name 40 items that I couldn't live without just because I have so many products that I really, really love. I like don't like to change once I figure out an item that I like. I don't like to mess around or like try different skincare or whatever product. So I really have my personal things that I just use and I will not stop using. And these are 10 of them. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this. Um, let me know if you want me to do like a version two, something like that. But I'll see you guys later. Bye.